morning, Nastia. Have a nice day. Oh, thank you. You too. What a strange girl. Oh, don't even say that. All right. Tea's ready, Mom. <laughs> Look at this ridiculous thing. She's old enough to be his grandmother. And those over-the-knee boots. Look how tacky she looks. <laughs> Mom, why are you reading all this nonsense, hmm? It's a waste of time. You know all of that is fake. You're not a journalist. I can choose to read what I want to read. Mm-hmm. And buy some coffee on your way home. I ran out last night. And don't buy Robusta like last time. Make sure you buy Arabica. Mom, I'll buy you some Arabica. But try going to the store yourself. Do you remember what the doctor told you? Life's in motion. And don't you understand that I worked all night long and that I'm tired and that I don't feel well? Is it so hard for you to buy coffee for your mother? Mom, it's not hard for me. I've just been really worried about your health, that's all. Maybe you can cut back on smoking and coffee since you've been so sick. All right, enough. Lock the door behind me, please. I don't know where my keys are. Mm -hmm. Sweetheart, why are you so absent-minded? Stretch your arms up, up high, stretch them, stretch them as if you want to reach the ceiling. And now slowly bend over, go down, try to touch the floor with your fingers as best you can. Masha, well done. Sergey, there you go, you almost got it. And now slowly come back up and give yourself a big round of applause for doing such a good job. We are done for today. Yeah. Good job, everybody. Now don't forget to put your mats away, please. Class is over for today. I'll see you all next Friday. <laughs> Ms. Anastasia. My mom asked me to give you this box of chocolates as a gift. Thank you so much. Well, would you like to share it with the other children? No, my mom said it's for you, with gratitude, so that you can have tea with your chocolate. Thank you so much. All right, then, go join the others, and I'll see you Friday. See you later, kids. Here's a treat for all of you. That's so sweet, thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, girls. Hey. Nastya, get me a cup of coffee. I have a splitting headache. I can't bear it anymore. Hey, Sveta. The manager of the accounting department was looking for you. It seemed to be urgent. What? The mm -hmm. manager? Urgent? That's too bad. He'll have to wait. The most important thing for me right now is coffee and a cigarette. Otherwise, without coffee, I won't be able to focus. Well, maybe you should take some aspirin? Thank you. Well, judging by your mood, the date was not very successful. Completely unsuccessful. No, you can't even imagine what the moron did. He invited me to a fast food pizza place. What do you think about that? There's one on every corner in Moscow. Is there something wrong with pizza? Nastya, it's the 21st century. Will you wake up? He might as well have invited me to a diner. <laughs> well, listen, in my opinion, mm -hmm. you're being a little ungrateful. Okay, girls, I gotta go. I'll fill it mm -hmm. out later. Is that okay? That's fine. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. So then, I finally had to tell the guy. There weren't any beans. And I found a wallet. What? And did you bring it home with you, Nastya? Why? I mean, don't you pay attention to the news? Don't you know that lately thieves deliberately throw away wallets, then find out where you live and break into your house? So let's take a look. There's a business card, a credit card, and a phone number. Well, I say don't do it. What if they're thieves? <laughs> Mom. Why don't you ever trust me, huh? Come on, I mean, not all people are bad. Jeez. Hello, excuse me, uh, are you Andre by any chance? I found your wallet just now. You must have dropped it in the parking lot. No way. And is there anything left in the wallet at all? Well, I don't know what was in there originally. Well, let me look. I can see there's two credit cards. 
business cards, and 15,000 rubles. Wow, that's amazing. You just saved my life. What's your name? Nastia. How can I get your wallet back to you? Nice to meet you, Nastia. What if we meet tomorrow night at Narcissus Cafe? I'll text you the address in a little while. Will 7 p.m. work for you? Yes, it will. That's great. I'll see you later. Goodbye. And thank you again, Nastia. Goodbye. Can you believe it? Somebody found my wallet. Oh? So what? Did they take your cash and your credit cards? Well, no. Everything's there. That's weird. Nothing weird. There's still some honest people out there, that's all. Well then, honest man. Here's your paperwork. Here are your documents, here are your samples, and let's get to work. Tomorrow, we have a meeting with some of our very let's important vendors. And you are our top negotiator. When I was working on negotiations, did I ever let you down? Is that even possible, my friend? Come on. Come on. Everything's gonna be great. <sighs> no, I don't understand you, Nastya. How could you agree to meeting with some guy you don't even know? Did you ever think he might be a psychopath? And what if this is how he finds his next murder victim? Sveta, just stop it with all your nonsense, okay? Someone lost his wallet, I'll return it to him, and that's it. Although my mom said the same thing. I mean, I expect it from my mom. She's always watching trashy TV shows. But are you paranoid too? You know, you'd be better off spending that money on shopping. One man's loss is another man's find. I don't understand you. You need that money more than anyone else. Well, Sveta, I hope you take that back, okay? Nastya, Nastya, don't be so naive, please. Nastya. Good evening, Andre. Hello. And... This is for you. You shouldn't have. It's just a simple thanks. <laughs> I didn't know which flowers you preferred, and so for some reason I decided to get you bears. Thank you. Uh, and here's your wallet. Ah, yes. Thank you again, Nasia. Well, I wish you luck. Wait, uh, are you in a rush? Would you like to have some tea? And by the way, they make delicious desserts. Well, I don't know. Well, I know that all girls love dessert. All right, let's have a cup of tea. <laughs> have a seat. <sighs> you really surprised me. <laughs> well, first I fainted in my autopsy class, and then I was teased up until my senior year. I was so worried, I thought I had chosen the wrong career. Yeah, come on, to become a doctor of medicine is highly important and necessary. I can't brag about being a doctor. And what do you do, Andre? Well, I work in selling sports equipment. Although for me, it's not just a business, actually. Sports are a childhood passion of mine, especially everything connected to mountain sports. Mountain climbing, downhill skiing, running in the morning. <laughs> you won't believe this, but I definitely can't imagine my life without jogging in the morning. Seriously. <laughs> well, why shouldn't I believe it? I jog in the morning as well. Really? Mm -hmm. Yes, I also like skiing, but I prefer snowboarding. <laughs> then you definitely get me. Let's drink to that. <laughs> Cheers, then. Mm. Listen, Nasya. My company's anniversary is coming up, and we're having a work event. I'm inviting you. Come. All right, I'll go. <laughs> Excellent. Then I'll see you there. <laughs> Mom. Mom, well, I'm sorry I didn't call you back, seriously. Mom, don't be upset at me. Do you hear me? <laughs> Mom. Mom, please, look at me. I don't want to talk to you, Nastya. Where have you been all night, hmm? I was at a restaurant. I hesitate to ask with whom. A man named Andre, Mom. <laughs> What is that? What? Is that what's trendy now? <laughs> and why are you giggling like a schoolgirl? Mom, I think that I just met the man of my dreams. <laughs> well, wonderful. Huh? <laughs> 
Look at her, look at her, look at her walk. She's so mysterious today. Beautiful. She did her hair. Even got a manicure, huh? It's obvious. You're going on a date with that maniac who dropped his wallet, am I right? Sveta, he's not a maniac. Okay, I see. And where are you going? He invited me to a corporate party for his company. It's not a date. A corporate party? Wait, and when were you going to tell me about this, Nastya? What do you mean? Amazing. She calls herself a friend, and keeps me completely in the dark about her personal life. Nastya, you know I've been looking for a date for a month already, and there's going to be lots of single men there. Sveta, mm. I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm. Well, you could always come with me. I'm all for that. Really? Of course. Will you come? I will. <laughs> well, that's it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Nastya, I wasn't expecting this. I think we hit the jackpot. Hello, ladies. Can I get you a mojito? All right. Mm -hmm. No, wait. Two glasses of white wine instead. That's an excellent choice. <laughs> oh, wow. So it turns out that these two beautiful girls actually work at the office? By the way... I'm Valera. Valera, okay. Nice to meet you. Yes, Valera. Don't put your hands on me, okay? Go away, go away, Valera. Wow, how rude. Give me a vodka. Maybe you should have some coffee instead. Hey, come here. Why are you so harsh? What do you mean? You have to be harsh with men like that. He didn't even take the ring off his finger. It's clear he's just looking for a one-night stand. Sveta, don't you usually order mojitos? Remember. Mojitos are for provincial losers. And you and I should drink dry white wine. And just one glass each, darling. At least while we're on the hunt. Cheers. <laughs> and in what dumb magazine did you read that nonsense? Oh, don't even. <laughs> okay, great. Fine. Oh, Nastya, hi. How are you? Hi, Andre. So nice to see you here. Oh, and this is my friend. Hello. Svetlana. A pleasure. But you can just call me Sveta. And this is my friend and colleague, Vladislav. Well, yes, Vladislav. Nice to meet you. But you can call me Vlad. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, girls, why are you here alone? Join us at our table. It's quieter. There's plenty of food. Join us, yeah. Right. Wait, yeah. no, thank you, but I think we're going to pass. No, why? Well, don't be offended. Well, at least we tried. All right. I guess we'll see you later. Enjoy. Let's see if it dance for me. Mm -hmm. What was that all about? Mm. What? Why didn't we go with them to their table? Oh my god. No, not so fast. Let them wait a little bit. Otherwise, they start thinking that they're the center of the universe, and that's not how we roll, you know? Come on, have a drink. No, it's like I was Can I ask you to dance, Nastya? Oh. Oh, sorry. Sveta, you got that on my dress. Sorry, that was an accident. Andre, uh, Nastya. Sorry, that was an accident. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm really, I'm very sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Nastya, come back. So, I guess that means we're not dancing then. Whiskey, please. Well, I don't know. Let's you and I dance. Seriously? Yes. All right, then. <laughs> Nice couple, right? Come on, man, come on. All right. Oh. Mm. <laughs> so, is it true that you like going hiking and downhill skiing? 
Yeah, why does that surprise you? I'm not surprised, it's just that I've always dreamt about doing that. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, I'll hold you to that. Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's have another. No, 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 I had enough already. Mm. All right. You know what? Although... Although what? We could drink to new friends and get rid of all formalities. Mm? It's a deal. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Nastya. Hello. Hey. And you... Why did you leave so early yesterday? I had a headache, so I left. Oh. Well, Andre and I had a wonderful time yesterday. Nastya, if I understood correctly, you weren't interested in him, right? Sveta, what are you talking about? Well, you never know. You're a reserved girl. <gasps> He's calling. Hello? Hello, Sveta. Hello, this is Andre. We met last night at the club. Yes, yes, of course, I remember you. <laughs> I would like to see you again tomorrow night. Tomorrow? Oh, I don't even know what I'm doing tomorrow. Hold on. Nastya, what are you doing? Nastya! Uh, yes, I'm free tomorrow. I don't understand. I just don't understand. Nastya, why would you even think of bringing Sveta to this party? He did only invite you, huh? Well, I didn't know that was gonna happen. Of course you didn't know. Why are you so naive, can you tell me that? You know that she's a gold digger and a taker. It couldn't be more obvious. I know, but she didn't... She didn't know I liked him. Nastya, don't cry, come on. Is that it? Ready for Are a we surprise? there yet? Wait. Yes. Here. And what is that? What do you mean? It's for wall climbing. It's what you've always dreamt about, isn't it? Oh, right. I remember, of course. Don't you like it, Sveta? I just wanted to surprise you, that's No, all. no. Yes, come on. No, we can just go to a restaurant. No, I really like it. Really. Really? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Well, okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. Come on. <sighs> Come on, be brave. Come on. <sighs> <laughs> Who invented these damn mountains? What did you say? I said thank you so much. This is fun and exciting. Seriously. Do you like it? Oh, yes, very much. All right, here we go. Come on, come on. Uh, I'm coming. I've never been on one this high. Yeah, Are you serious? I'm serious. Well. Oh my god, that's high. Well right. done. I can do this. Okay. I can do anything. It's my dream. And now you get to let go. What? What are you talking about? You just let go. No, no, no. Here I go. Uh, Andre, you. Uh, what? Watch out. Uh. Are you okay? Yeah. I was just scared. Why are you so scared? And it's going to be a great one. She has scoliosis. Hello. What's your name? Sonia. Hello, I'm Miss Anastasia. All right, then. Take this ball. Sasha, Sergey, move to the side, please. This is your spot right here, Sonia. Thank you. Well, then, let's start with a little stretch. Raise your right arm up high and start. Stretching and leaning all the way to the left. Stretch, stretch. Now we do the same thing to the other side. Raise your left arm, stretch, lean, and we are also stretching the spine. Very good, very good. Now then, let's take the balls and start to do some exercises. Stupid exercises. Okay, listen up kids. Just go ahead and bounce on the balls. I'll be right back. All right. <laughs> oh, watch this. Sonia, why are you crying? Was it something I said? I don't want to come here. But why? 
I want to be a ballerina. Well, then I suggest that you ask your parents to enroll you in a ballet school. They didn't let me. I asked to take dance class. And my dad said because I have a curve in my spine, I have to go to physical therapy instead. Well, come on now. Don't cry. Don't cry. Well, here, of course, physical therapy is not as fun as dance school, but... But it's very healthy for your back. You want to be a ballerina, right? I do. Well, you know ballerinas need to have a straight back as well. Want to do some exercises? Let's go. Let's go. Sergey, Elliot, why are you running? Come here. Dad. Dad. Did you have a good time? <laughs> hey, Miss Anastasia. This is my papa. Hello. Good afternoon, Sergey. Nice to meet you. You can call me Nastya. Sergey, I want to talk to you about Sonia. Oh, Sonia, go get dressed now. Something serious? No, 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 don't worry. Sonia, of course, has scoliosis, but I know she would really prefer to do ballet. Yes, she's obsessed with it. That could be helpful for her condition. I'm telling you as a doctor. Are you sure? Of course. I understand that you and your wife probably don't have the time with work <clears throat> and- Sonia's mom passed away two years ago. I'm very sorry. I didn't know. I mean, just look at her. Don't you think she'd love it? She'd be so happy if you sent her to a dance school. <laughs> huh. Well, all right then. Sonia, so you want to go to dance class? <laughs> what do you want to dance? Ballet? Modern? Wake up, my angel. Time to wake up. <laughs> Good morning, Andre. Good morning. What are we doing? What do you mean? A morning jog. I told you, on weekends and holidays every single day. Mm -hmm. And with my girlfriend. And I have to share your same interests, right? That's right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so wake up, we gotta get started. Warming up. <laughs> Hold on. Are you all right? Yeah, everything's fine. You I, sure? I just, it just hurts like right here. Okay. <laughs> all right, we can stop for today. Let's no, no, go. No, 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 no. Why? No. Let's keep running. Or you'll think that I'm weak and unsupportive and you'll be disappointed in me. You know, every day I'm more and more fascinated by you. <laughs> Nastya, you have no idea what I've been going through. Andre is completely obsessed with fitness. Proper nutrition and healthy lifestyle, all of it. No one is forcing you to do what you don't want to do. Nastya, Nastya, I need to get married, okay? And Andre is an excellent option. Plus, he's head over heels in love with me. It would be a sin to let him go. You think he wouldn't love the real you? He will, he will, but after the wedding. Until then, in the meantime, I'll just have to play the part. Oh, um, by the way, we're having a party tomorrow at 7. Will you come? Sveta, I have a session tomorrow. Look, cancel your session. There's going to be tons of his health and fitness friends there. I can't stand them, will you please? I need your support. Hmm? All right, I'll come. Great. Just put on a cute dress for the party, okay? There will be lots of single men there after all, hmm? Okay. So, no. all right, goodbye. What about you? Wait a second, let me go get the door. Oh, Nastya, hi. Come in. 
Listen, I have a secret I've been wanting to tell you. All right, I'm listening. So I think I'm ready to propose to Sveta. What? Propose. And why are you telling me this? Well, you're her best friend and I need you to help me. Help you? How? I'll give you a sign and you'll distract her with something. I want it to be a surprise, so this whole party's for that reason, you know what I mean? So will you help me? Yeah, I'll help you. <laughs> Thanks so much. Come on, go get a drink. <laughs> Take a look at how the skis turned sideways. So we bought a thousand pairs of these skis for trial. Andre organized the whole thing. It gets my nerves going on and on about the process. Everyone is so bored. Look around. Don't worry, the party will get better. Well, let's go. Come on, let's go. Listen, I need time with my friend. Mm. Of course. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nastya, where's your dress? Look, I wanted to talk to you. Do you remember Vlad? So we Andre's business partner? Mm -hmm. Well, he's got an uncle. An official in the government. Which one? What difference does it make? Do you know what that means? So what? So what? I think I can switch guys. I like him even more. And I saw him looking at me. Sveta. How can you say something like that? What are you talking about? What should I say? Why are you so righteous? You can't say anything. God, okay. I was just kidding, that's all. Uh, Sveta, come to the kitchen. I have to tell you something. All right, let's go then. Listen, keep an eye out. Andre thinks I don't smoke. So what is it? Tell me, what's going on with you? Sveta, I'm just busy at work now. There's lots of children, so no time for men. And it's hard to find a decent person. Well, yeah, right. Listen, listen. I think he's coming. Come on, come on, get out of here. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Where is everybody? What's going on? Sveta. There's something that I wanted to say to you. Well, you and I haven't known each other for very long, but <laughs> as fate would have it, now in my life there's such an incredible and beautiful <laughs> and amazing woman like you. I know that you and I are made for each other, and I'm madly in love with you. Will you marry me? <laughs> yes, I will. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> now lay over the ball and arch your backs carefully. Now stretch one, two, Three. Well done. We're done with the exercises. Let's give each other a round of applause. Good work today, everybody. And now, will you please put the mats and balls back where they belong? We'll see you all next Friday. Miss Anastasia, hey. my dad says if you have the time, he wants to talk to you. Your dad? Let's go. Thank you, yes. Hello, Sergey. Good afternoon, Miss Anastasia. Is there anything wrong? No, no, I just wanted to know how Sonya's doing. Perhaps, is there something you recommend? Something besides this? Yes, of course there is. Uh-huh. Uh, here. This is a useful brochure. Take a look at this. Uh-huh. And also make sure that Sonia has a comfortable chair at the table. It would be nice if she could get a massage and some proper nutrition. But don't worry. Sonia's a good girl. She copes with everything. And since Sonia's a good girl, we need to celebrate it. So, how about some ice cream? Mm-hmm. So can we ask Miss Anastasia to come with us to dinner, too? Well, I think that is up to Miss Anastasia to decide. Say yes. Oh, is it three rings? What three rings? It's a trinity. It's a classic. Three types of gold as a symbol of love, 
loyalty, and friendship. Mm -hmm. Well, you just have to expand your horizons, Val. <sighs> it's so hard to choose. Andre wants us to go to the mountains, but I had to put my foot down. And if we don't go to the Maldives, there'll be no wedding, so... And so then you're going to the Maldives? Well, of course. If you want to dance, you have to pay the piper. Moreover, he's an obedient boy. He never argues with me. <sighs> okay, girls. I'll see you later. Nastya, Nastya, wait, 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 wait. I have news for you. I would like to ask you to be my maid of honor. Me? Well, of course, you. You're like a sister to me. And you introduced me to Andre, so. Yeah, I'll think about it. <laughs> and I already chose a dress for you, yellow. I know you don't like yellow, but with my white dress, it will look very nice. Hmm? Mm hmm Goodbye, everybody. What's going on with her? So I say sometimes you have to work on Saturdays and Sundays, and if we cannot meet our sales goals, then the main office begins to stress us out. It's better not to talk about it anymore. Yeah. You cannot imagine, one guy was fired, and sometimes he would even surpass his sales goals, but he was laid off anyway. The boss doesn't care about anything. No good work is taken into account. He considers us workers to be complete idiots. We're there to make him millions, but he doesn't give a damn about us. Mm. But I'm just not gonna give up. I have a friend, a lawyer. He offered me several options. Do you want me to tell you? Mm. Let's do it another time, okay? Look, I think Sonia is bored. Look, I'm a walrus. Sonia. Please stop that right now. Daddy, I want more ice cream. It's more expensive here. We'll go to the store, we'll buy it there, and we'll eat it at home. It's not fun eating it at home. Sonia, I'll get you some more ice cream. Sonia, perhaps thank, thank Mrs. You. Anastasia. My pleasure. One more strawberry ice cream and I'll take the check. Please. I think that I should get going. It's getting late. Uh, well then, so should we. Right, Sonia? We'll walk you to your car. Here's your check. Thank you. No, no, don't worry about it. You stay and enjoy eating your ice cream. It was nice talking to you. Thank you so much, Miss Anastasia. Uh, my pleasure. Have a good night. Well then, let's go. <laughs> Nastya, <laughs> you can congratulate me. I just sent the article to the publisher. Congratulations, <laughs> Mom. Thank you. Here you go. Next month, the magazine will publish my article. <sighs> well, why do you look so sad, huh? <laughs> uh, I don't know, Mom. I just feel like I've been working instead of having a good time. Mom, I just don't understand men. <laughs> they only talk about money. Who earns what, and how much they earn, and how they spend it. Uh, I mean, why even talk about it? You know that if a man is good with numbers, that really isn't a bad thing at all. But if you're going to be so picky, then you'll continue to be alone. When are you gonna forget about that guy, Andre? Shh. Mm. Mom, stop it. Why should I stop? Why should I stop? I can see how you're hurting so much. Look at you. Who have you turned into? You're neglecting yourself. Have you looked at the mirror? Stop suffering already, stop it. Okay, okay, I won't suffer anymore. And my advice to you, is to choose your girlfriends carefully. That's for sure. A toast to me. Cheers. Hey, Sveta, why aren't you ready yet? Everyone's gonna be here soon. <laughs> Nastya. I don't think I want to get married. Okay, Sveta, wait, hold on. Tell me exactly what's going on with you. So, I woke up this morning. I started to get ready to put my makeup on. Nastya, at some point, I realized that there are so many wealthy and interesting men everywhere around me. Well, you know what I'm talking about. I don't know what to do. Honestly, so, I- So, Sveta, just answer one question for me. Do you love Andre? Well, of course I do. All right then. And Andre also loves you. And that's the most important thing. Really? Mm -hmm. uh, what would I do without you? Come here. Thank you, my dear. 
All right, quickly, help me put on this dress. <sighs> Look, I don't like it. Yes, it's better without it, really. Oh, Nastya, who else tells me the truth besides you? You know what? One day, I wish that you find a groom that is just as wonderful as my Andre. Well, uh, I'm afraid there aren't any men like that out there. Why are you saying that? Look around you, there are countless of them. <laughs> Girls! Oh, we are so happy Hi. for you. <laughs> look at you. <laughs> you look so beautiful. <laughs> the most beautiful bride like in the world. Oh, the dress is gorgeous. <laughs> gorgeous. Isn't she gorgeous? Good afternoon, dear guests and dear newlyweds. For you, newlyweds, this is the most important and most memorable moment of your life. <laughs> I am so honored to have the privilege of registering your marriage. But before the act of registration, I ask you one question. With your desires to be spouses, are they honest, are they mutual, and are they final? Your answer, Andre? Yes. <laughs> your answer, Nastya? Yes. In accordance with the Family Registrar's Office, I ask you to sign here on the marriage certificates. <laughs> Your marriage is registered. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Thank you. Thank you so much. As a sign of eternal love, I ask you to place the wedding ring on one another. Careful. <laughs> and seal this special moment with a kiss. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Well, you're married. Now it's time to have fun. <laughs> hey, where are you going? Don't leave, come on, don't come leave. back, everyone. I don't understand why everyone's being so slow. Come on, let's go. Why are you standing here? Are you bored? Come on. It was a very beautiful wedding. <laughs> and she's extremely happy. Yes. Thank you, Nasya. Thank you? Well, yeah. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have met my future wife. Thanks so much. <laughs> What's going on here? Nothing. Okay, let's go. Come on. Let's go. Yeah, I'll be right there. <sighs> Nasya, why are you standing here? One second. Someone's calling me. Ah, okay. Yes, Sergey, good evening. Is something wrong with Sonia? You want to invite me where? On a date? I accept. Anastasia, my dear, can I be serious with you? It's very important to me. I need to talk to you. Yes, of course, I'm listening. Uh, you know, I'm a very busy person. I work really hard every day, and I don't have much time for fooling around. What do you mean, Sergey? Let's sit down. Anastasia, I want to offer you a serious relationship. I need a wife. Sonia needs a mother, or a stepmother. You are exactly what we need. You are serious and smart, and you're exactly the right age. I mean, you're not like those other 20-year-olds. I'm a good person. Never even doubt that. We're both serious people, and these romantic illusions, they're not meant for us, Anastasia. I feel that we really don't need them in our lives. Um, don't you think? Sergey, thank you for the flattering offer. But I'd rather be alone. <laughs> and that's where you're wrong. You know, once we get old, uh, it's easier to live in a family of three, right? It's more economical that way. Think about it. Take a couple of days. A week, even. Think about it. Yes, of course, Sergey. I'll definitely think about it. Just give me time to make the right decision, Yeah. and I'll give you an answer, okay? Oh, very good. Let's go. Yes. I'll walk you to your house. Thank you. So, do you like it? Uh-huh. A lot. 
Hmm. Just look at that bag she's carrying. That bag, do you know that that's worth a fortune? They're especially made for very important people only. I'm not talking about the bag, sweetheart. But the mountains. The mountains. They're beautiful. Well, the mountains are like mountains. They're the same everywhere. But the bag... Yeah, I'll probably never get one of those. <gasps> I'm so sorry about that. Are you serious? That. You just spilled that all I'm over so me. Sorry, How can you work like this? What's wrong Here, with you? This. I'm so sorry. Thank you. Damn your it. voice. Shut up! Stop saying sorry! Stop acting like this, Svetha, otherwise... You idiot! How could you do that? Otherwise what? What? What, Andre? Lower your voice, otherwise you're gonna embarrass me. Oh, I'm embarrassing you? You know what? What? You can take that waiter, sit him down here, and talk about mountains all you want. I'm going somewhere else. Sveta. Check, please. Veta, you ready to go? Yes. Well, how do I look? Beautiful, but... Wait a minute. Hmm? We're about to go to a skiing competition. You're gonna be comfortable in that? Maybe you should wear something else, you know? Honey, I've been thinking, and you should go alone to the competition. <sighs> and what? I can just go shopping. I found such wonderful shoes. Hmm? Wait, what, shopping? Yeah. Honey, there's mountains out there. Yeah, yeah, I, mean, I see them. Have you ever them. seen something so stunning? Just look. Come with me. Oh, what are you honey, talking about? Honey, please. Let's go to the mountains some other time, okay? I forgot to tell you, I also have a massage at 4 o'clock. Listen, you know we can get a massage together, okay, but okay, after okay. the competition... Okay, okay, let's not argue. Mm-hmm. 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 And by the way... What? I'll be waiting... Mm. ...for you in the room... At 6 after the massage? Mm-hmm. And then... we'll go out to dinner. Okay. I'll see you later. Madame Marinov, Madame Marinov, votre mari, votre mari. Who are you? H how please, did you even get husband. in here? Catastrophe, what your catastrophe? husband. What catastrophe? Can you say something in English, please? I don't understand. Madame, you. it's your husband. What? There's been a catastrophe. Please what come. What are you talking about? Where's my husband? Hello. Sweater? Yes, yes, it's me, Nastya. So, Andre. What happened to Andre? Andre, he got in a really bad accident, and he was trying to ski down the mountain, and and he's not well enough to be how, transported to Moscow. How did this happen, Sweater? Hello? Nastya, why, why is this happening to me? Well, why? Why did I let him go to the mountains? Why? Well, why did this happen to him? Please, just tell me why. Sveta, well, it's not your fault. You couldn't why have foreseen this. Happening? this. It's going to be I all right. I understand that. Anything. Why? Why is this happening? Excuse me, but uh, who is Baranova's wife? Yeah. Well, I need to have a very serious conversation with you. Doctor, do you think I can stay with her? She's in a bad state. Okay. Well, first of all, your husband's life is no longer in jeopardy. He's out of danger. You see, Sveta? However, I'm afraid that there's not much good news beyond that. Because at this point, I can't predict with any certainty that he'll ever be able to walk again. <laughs> I'm sorry. Everything depends solely on the care he gets at home and how much his body is receptive to the treatments. Well, why did this happen to me? Why? Why, doctor? You really need to pull yourself together. Do you understand? It's absolutely important 
because your behavior is going to have a crucial impact on your husband's recovery. And now, more than ever, he needs your full support as his wife. What do you mean, support? It's me! It's me! I need the support! Do you understand that or not? Nastya, I need to get some sleep. I can't. I can't do this. Stay with him. I, I gotta go. Doctor, what ward is he in? In the seventh ward. Thank you. You're welcome. Where is Sveta? She was in the hospital all night while you were in the middle of your surgery. She went an entire day without sleep. No offense, but she had to go home. <clears throat> you should go home too. I don't want to be a burden to anyone, especially my wife. I can handle this on my own. I know that you can pull through this, Andre. You are strong. It's going to be all right. What's going to be all right? My spine is damaged. What are you talking about? My poor Sveta. Couldn't even celebrate her honeymoon because of what happened to me. Don't talk about yourself like that. Don't give up, Andre. We have to stay positive through all of this. Teresa has returned. Come in! Sveta, are you drunk right now? Listen, if you were the wife, the young and beautiful wife, of a crippled man, what would you do, huh? Or maybe I should dance. Yeah, maybe I should just go become a dancer. Sveta. What? All right, will you calm down, please? Yes, Andre's spine is damaged. But it's not a verdict yet. No. He can recover from yes, this. Yes, of course, recover. What if he can't recover, hmm? Did you ever think about that, Nastya? You think I should just stay with him and push a wheelchair for the rest of my life, or what? You know what? I imagine my future in some other way, hmm? Here's to you. Sveta, Andre needs your love and your support more than ever before. Don't be discouraged. Give it to me. Stop. I said give it to me. I said give it to me. Discouraged? Do you think you're so good? You're the nice one here? The nicest person, huh? You don't understand human weaknesses. You've never experienced it. Sveta, what are you saying? I'm only trying to help you out. You want to help me? You want to help me? Thank you. Nastya, get out of my house with your damn help. Now, go on, go on. Get out of here, get out of here. <sighs> Well, where are you going so early? I thought today was your day off. To visit Andre? Ugh. Are you unaware that he has a wife? I don't even know why you care about that man. Sveta visits him too. She's just not in good shape at the moment. <sighs> of course. And you're always in the best shape. You're just like your father, just as selfless. He would always help everyone. Nobody thinks about me at all. I get no attention. No grandkids. Mom, I hope you have a great day too. Thank you. All right, I brought you some delicious food. And most importantly, it's good for you. Look, applesauce with cinnamon. <laughs> you like sweets, don't you? <laughs> I suggest we start eating. Thanks, I don't want any. Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello, Doctor. Nastya. Well, I have some good news for you. The results of the latest tests are positive. So we're going to take just one more x-ray, and if it gives us positive results as well, then we're going to send you home. <gasps> Doctor, thank you very much. <laughs> no, it's my pleasure. You see how much she cares about you? Now, remember to take your vitamins. Nastya, do you know how Sveta's doing? Uh, didn't she come by? It's 
been a couple days already, and she doesn't answer the phone. Can you give her a call for me? Yes, of course. Just don't worry about it. Strange. What? She's not picking up the phone. Nasya, can you please go find her? Maybe something happened to her or she's sick? <laughs> she's so fragile. She must be worried about me. Don't worry, of course I'll check on her. Thanks so much. Where is Sveta? Uh, come in, I'll call her now. Sveta, you got a visitor. Vlad, what are you doing here? Me? Hmm. I came to support my friend's wife. I think that's normal. Sveta! Yeah? Visitor. Thank you. Nastya. Nastya. I'm sorry. Listen, well, I'm sorry I yelled at you like that. I was feeling terrible, and I don't know what was going on. Sveta, I'm not offended. I just don't understand why you're not visiting Andre. And what's Vlad doing here? Vlad? Well, he came to pick me up so that we could go and visit Andre. And you showed up, and we can all go together now. Andre is very depressed. You must encourage him to keep fighting so that he can start believing in his recovery, and most importantly, in himself. Do you really think that he has a chance? Yeah, I really do. Nastya, Nastya, wait! Well, where are you going? Nastya! What, she left? Yeah. So shall we go to the hospital? How's he doing? Same. Hmm. Nothing's changed. Well, thank you for coming. I appreciate it. Hey. Hey. Good to see you. And how are you? As you can see, all the same? Yeah, I hear you. Well, anyway, I brought you a few things. Great, thank you. It's okay, man. In life, as they say, anything is possible. Uh, listen. We need to have a serious talk. I don't even know how to begin. Well, the short version, a company can't afford to have an employee that an employee that has stopped going to work for whatever reason they have. He led negotiations and two contracts have failed already. Well, and are you following me? Yeah, I understand. Well, we will pay for your sick time and all that, of course, but please don't expect a percentage of profits. No offense, okay? 
Of course. Excuse me. Here and... <sighs> Do the two of you need anything? Some coffee? No, honey, don't worry. Thank you, Sveta. All right, then. <clears throat> Listen, I have to go. I have a lot of work. Come on. Life is life, man. As they say in business, as well as women, they cannot be neglected. Vlad, just don't say anything to Sveta yet, okay? I know, problem, of course. Well, take care. I've got a lot of things to do. Get well. Waste your whole life on him. Is that what you want? Well, to be honest, it's not the kind of marriage I dreamed of. Look, uh, one word and things can change. What are you waiting for? You know very well that you cannot live like this for too long. Well, okay, come on. Take a look at yourself. A girl must be taken care of by her man, not bringing bedpans. Besides, there's a position for that, I think. All right, goodbye. Bye. Sergey, let's lean back very slowly. There you go. Very good. It's much better today. All right, and put your weight on the ball. Hi, Sonia. Miss Anastasia, I wanted to show you something. Wait, Sonia. There, that's great. So how's your back feel? Well, it's okay. Okay. Well then, that's it for today. I'll see you next week, okay? Great job. Say hi to your mom. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye. My dad sent me to dance, and I'm so happy. This is the first thing they taught me. It's called cha-cha-cha. Cha-cha-cha-cha-cha. 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 You're doing great, Sonia. Can you teach me too? Yes, of course. Come on. Cha-cha-cha-cha-cha. 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 Sonia, it looks like you'll be teaching me now. <laughs> You're so good. Sometimes I wish I had a mother like you. <laughs> and where's your dad? I don't know. Probably stuck in traffic. Let's call him. Do you know his number? Yes, of course. Uh, Dad? Hello? Where are you? Yeah, Sonia. Stuck in the suburbs, in the traffic jam. I'll be there in an hour. Is there an adult there that can stay with you? My dad says he's stuck in a traffic jam, and if someone can stay with me for an hour... Uh, let's find out. Hey, Valentina. Uh... Could you stay with her for an hour? No, I'm sorry. We don't get overtime pay. And my kids are at home waiting for me. Have a good night, Miss Anastasia. <sighs> good Goodbye. Night. Give me the phone. Hello, Sergey. Hello, this is Nastya calling about Sonia. Hello there. Sergey, don't worry about it. I'll take Sonia back to my house and you can pick her up there whenever you can. I know you're stuck in traffic, so please take your time. Thank you so much. Hmm. Well then, let's go have dinner. You must be terribly hungry. Goodbye. Bye. Bye, miss. Come on in. What a big apartment. Kind of. <laughs> huh, do we have guests? Hello, Mom. Hey there. Well, hello. And what's your name? Sonia. Mom, this is Sonia from my class. Her dad is stuck in heavy traffic, so she's gonna stay here with us and have some dinner. Well, yes, right. And will your father come to pick you up today? Yes, of course. 
Well then, let's go to the kitchen. Thanks, Mom. Let's go. Let's make the salad now. Do you like cucumbers and tomatoes? <laughs> what do you usually eat for dinner? Well, pasta. And for breakfast? Sausages. I see. How about today, we try a delicious and healthy salad. Will you help me cut cucumbers? Yes, of course. Cutting cucumbers is my favorite. Just be careful. Okay. I always help my daddy with this at home. You're a good girl. <laughs> mm. Well done, girls. The salad you made, it's beautiful and delicious. Mm-hmm. And how do you like my chicken with vegetables? Mm. Very tasty. Well done, you too, Auntie. Oh, wow. Thank you, sweet girl. <laughs> <laughs> so cute, so cute. I wish I had a daughter like her. You don't need to be married for that, you know. Well, of course you do. Dad's here. Uh, you know what, sweetie? Every child needs both Mama and Papa. Mm-hmm. This is Sergey. Hello there. Hello. I'm sorry to have caused you so much trouble. Thank you so much. Miss Anastasia, you've helped us so very much. It's all right, Sergey. It's our pleasure. You have a truly wonderful daughter. Thank you. Excuse me, but what is your full name? You can call me Lydia. Lydia Pelovna. You look great. Thank you. You and Anastasia look like sisters. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Sergey, Sergey, won't you have dinner with us? Come on, sit down. Come on, sweetie, move closer. Nastya, give him a plate. So this is the salad prepared by your daughter. Oh. Yes, yes. You'll have to try it. She did such a good <sighs> job. Thank you. You're going to love this salad. You're going to love it. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Nastya, put my chicken on the plate, please. Mm-hmm. Did she behave well? A sweet, wonderful child. Anastasia, I understand that an intimate relationship between us is impossible. I am absolutely to blame for it. I know that. But I implore you, please don't be angry with me. Look, oh, come on. You have done so much for us. You helped us so much today, and Sonia really likes you so much. The feeling is mutual. Thank you so much. If you ever need anything, just tell me. I'm ready to do anything for you. Sergey, thank you so very much. That's so sweet of you, really. <laughs> thank you. Daddy, I'm getting sleepy. Let's go home. Yes, yes, sweetie. Of course, of course, let's go. Thank you again. Goodbye. <sighs> let's go. Goodbye. Bye, Lydia. Good night. Thank you so much for dinner. Take care, Sergey. No Thank more you. traffic jams. Good Goodbye. night. Bye. Bye, Miss Anastasia. Bye bye, Sonia. I really like Sergey. A very serious, reliable man. What a gentleman. It's hard to find men like him nowadays. But he's not good enough for you. Mom. Of course. You prefer going to the hospital, right? To someone else's husband. Mind your own business. What is this color? <laughs> I didn't order this color at all. Why are you standing there lying to me about my purchase? Do you think I'm stupid or something? I'm not keeping this. Take it back. Here, take it. Excuse me, please. I don't pack the orders. I only deliver them. Look, I don't care who works at the store and who delivers the merchandise. I didn't order that color and I'm not taking it. So just take it back. No, you know what? I'm going to call your boss now and find out what you have in stock and what you don't have, okay? Don't worry, we'll adjust your order. We will replace it and, of course, deliver it free mm -hmm. of charge. Once you do take shoes, the total cost is $25,000. Will you be paying by credit card or cash? No, let me get my suitcase full of money from here. Credit card, of course. Take it. Take it. The card was not approved. Unfortunately, this happens. I'll try again. You must be joking. There's no way my card wasn't accepted.
I'm afraid there's not enough money in this account. If you don't have cash, there's nothing I can do to help you right now. I have two more orders to deliver, so maybe you can drive up to our store and decide on the color of the shoes you prefer? Mm-hmm. I think I know what the problem is. Take this. Hold on. What's going on, sweetheart? Maybe it's you who should tell me what's going on, hmm? Why are all these cards being declined? And where's all the money gone? Well, I didn't want to tell you right away. <clears throat> Vlad had to fire me. What? Fired? That's great. And what do I do now? Where am I supposed to get my money from? To pay for all your medicine, for your treatments, your massages? I just don't understand how you think I'm going to solve all your problems now. Svita, why are you going crazy? I'm not going crazy. I'm not going crazy, Andre. I don't know how to react because when I married you, I wanted to be married, but not to whatever it is you are now. Look, if you want to leave, nobody's holding you back. If you want to leave, then go. You're a young, beautiful girl, and I'm not going to interfere with your life, but do not yell at me. Oh, I can leave. Fine, then. Listen, let's get all your stuff back to your house, and then you'll come over to mine, okay? Ugh, that's my suitcase. Be careful. <clears throat> Sveta, where are you going? Don't you realize what's going on? Nastya, I can't live like this anymore. But Andre can't survive without you. This is not a time for one of your sermons, okay? You don't understand me anyway. I'm an adult, an independent woman, and I do what I think is necessary, got it? Sveta, I think you're confused about something. This is not you being independent. This is betrayal. Nastya, enough with all your lectures. I'm done with them, okay? And by the way, enjoy. I know you've always wanted Andre. I've noticed how you look at him and talk to him. You see? I'm not greedy. My yes, gift you to you. Let's go. Ah. But remember, he was with me first. Have fun. Miss Agorvna, please. Hi, no, nothing bad happened. I just want to ask you for a month's leave at my own expense. Yes, I understand that. But I really, really need it. Thank you. Goodbye. Hi, Andre. I brought your medicine. This is a new drug for your immune system. Come on. Take a pill and then we'll do some physical therapy. I created a set of exercises just for you. Why did you come? Hmm? You want to take pity on me? <laughs> um, I'll go get some water. You can go to hell with your water. Go on, get out of here! Get the hell out of here! Do you think your mother Teresa? Zveta ran away and I'm sure you're just gonna run away too! Get the hell out! I made you some dinner. I'm hoping you won't throw it at me. Now it's here. Sorry for yelling at you. You really didn't deserve it. I... Apology accepted. But only on one condition. You must eat all of this. But I really don't want to, nothing personal. You have to, Andre. It'll help you recover quicker. <laughs> Do you really believe that? Of course. But most importantly, you must believe it. And I'll help you.
Why are you doing this? Because people should help each other. Should? But nobody helps anyone anyway. My friend kicked me out of the company, although we started the business together. My wife left me because she got tired of caring for me. She was disgusted with cleaning my bedpan. And I know you'll leave sooner or later. It's just a matter of time. So I think you better just go now, Nastya. I'm not going anywhere. Tomorrow will be a new day, and everything will be different. You'll see. And now eat before it gets cold. If you need anything, I'll be in the living room. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, well, here you go. <laughs> <You're set. laughs> and look, I have four aces. Come on. <laughs> You're cheating. <laughs> That's it. I think that's enough. You've done enough. Mm, all right, you can turn over now. Well, I'm shocked at the results you've achieved in such a short span of time. It's amazing. That's what it means to have some good home care. Well, what do you think, Doctor? Isn't Andre doing a great job? I'd say you both are doing a great job. This is absolutely nothing less than a miraculous recovery. Thank you, Doctor. You know what? You should thank your wife. You're a very lucky man to have her. Bless you. Thank you. I'll walk you out. Thank you. Goodbye. We're having a little party today. I thought we should celebrate. I agree. Oh, I forgot the forks. Hold on. <laughs> Andre! Andre, let me help you. How did you fall? No. Oh. No, no, I'll do it myself! I got it! Don't bother me! I can do this myself. There, I did it. I'm bothering you? How can you say that? I'm in love with you. Since the first time I met you. I'm willing to do anything for you. And you... Nastya. Despite everything that's happened, I feel absolutely happy. You know, the last time I was this happy was as a child when my dad came back from a long trip. He used to go out to sea for a few days every month, and I missed him so much that when he came back, it was like a holiday. <laughs> and then Mom got married for the second time, but my stepdad didn't love me. Although, you know, I don't blame him for that. I probably wouldn't be able to love someone else's child. Andre, it's time to go back. Of course. We need to do your exercises. Whatever you say. And then the treatments. You can do it. Get up, get up, up, up. Slowly, slowly. Come on, come on. 
Almost there. There, you're standing. I'm letting you go. I'm letting you go. <laughs> Hooray, you did it! <laughs> well done, I'm proud of you. I wouldn't have succeeded without you. You know, I think I am the happiest I've ever been. Really? Yes. Yeah, she dances really well. Nice girl, yeah? Mm -hmm. Her legs, her breasts. Yeah, God did a good job. <laughs> well, if you ask me, I think her breasts are about to fall out of her shirt, don't you think? Just sit here, don't talk nonsense. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, I'll go get some more. Vlad, wait, sit hands down. Hands off. Vlad, where I are you said, going? get your hands off. Who are you to give orders? You left your husband and now hang out in clubs. And by the way, Nastya got him standing again. Mm -hmm. And you sit here with a smile. Go on, go to that skank of yours, idiot. Andre, Andre, I'm sorry. I beg you. Please, I beg you. Forgive me. Forgive me, please. I was wrong, honestly. I was so scared. I was so scared. Please forgive me, Andre. I love you. You'll forgive me, won't you? No. Forgive me? Mom! Mom! Mom, can you imagine? He's already walking with a cane. I'm so happy. He thought he wouldn't be able to walk at all. Did you hear me, Mom? Did Andre's wife ever show up? Uh, I think Sveta will never come back. Don't jump to conclusions. And don't flatter yourself. Are they divorced yet? No, they're not. They're still husband and wife, aren't they? Mom, <laughs> you are such a pessimist. Everything is going to work out. You'll see. Okay, okay. I'm a pessimist with experience. A lot. Andre, I'm here. You must be hungry. I'll make something for you. Here, look. I brought an article by a German professor. After dinner, we'll read it together. Nastya, hey! Sorry about the confusion. Andre and I already had dinner, and we were just about to go to bed. Right, Andre? Look, thank you so much, Nastya. When I saw Andre, I didn't believe that he was back on his feet, right? You're a wonderful doctor. Look, I think this calls for a little champagne. What do you think? Andre can't drink alcohol. Well, okay, listen. I hope you'll leave the instructions for his treatment moving forward, because I don't really know what I'm doing. Yeah, yes, of course. Thank you, Nastya. Oh, and I'm sorry you had to spend all this time helping him recover. Nastya. Nastya, I... Andre, you don't have to explain anything. I understand. Bye-bye. What are you thinking about? Why did you come back? Well, in case you had forgotten, Andre, I'm still legally your wife. Hmm? Nastya, Nastya. What happened this time, hmm? 
Mom, I can't believe this happened to me. What? <laughs> well, you were right. <laughs> Sveta came back, and he just sat there and said nothing, you know? He didn't even say a word, Mom. Oh, hush, hush, calm down. Calm down, my sweet girl. Shh, quiet. Shh. He doesn't deserve your tears. Do you hear me? Be quiet. Shh. Calm down, my girl. My sweet little girl. Good afternoon, children. Good afternoon to you, Miss Anastasia. I was on vacation and now I'm back. I missed you all. By the way, does anybody know where Sonia might be? She hasn't been to class for a long time. And does anybody know why? No. No, I don't. Well, go on and play and I'll be right back, okay? Beep, beep. Do we have any changes for tomorrow? The schedule is the same tomorrow. Now hurry up, your class started. Valentina, can you help me? Do you know why Sonia hasn't been coming to physical therapy? She's a blonde girl. Her father always comes along with her. Ah, the one who was always late. Yeah, yes, yes. Her dad died a month ago. He died? Yeah, the girl was sent to an orphanage. Orphanage? Mm -hmm. Which one do you know? I don't know. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And the princess went into the forest, and there she met... Sonia, what are you doing here? Come on, get up. Come with me. Give me your hand. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Come on. Miss Anastasia! Sonia. I'm so glad that I found you. Thank you. Look at how skinny you are. Miss Anastasia, take me with you, please. Did they hurt you in here? No, I'm just really sad in here. Just remember that I know how to make a salad and cut cucumbers, put away my toys. I promise you that I'm going to behave well. Just give me a chance. Well, of course. Of course, my dear. Of course. Of course you're coming with me. Excuse me. Wait for me here. Don't go anywhere. Yes, how can I help you? Can you please tell me what documents are needed to adopt Sonia? Well, my dear, such questions are not answered so quickly. Well, come with me. We'll talk. Yes, of course. I'm very familiar. On Monday? That's excellent. Thank you, Peter. Yes, I'm very pleased as well. Yeah, well, then see you on Monday. <laughs> Great, see you soon. Who was that? A former business partner. What do you care? Why are you behaving like this? Is he offering you a job or what? Yeah, a job at his company. Well, that's great. Wonderful news. That's such a relief because I even thought that I was going to have to get a job myself. But I have great news. We're taking a trip to the Dominican Republic. Mwah. What do you mean? What? You don't like the idea? Mm. Why don't you like it? Why are you so depressed? Look, I know that your doctor doesn't think that you should be flying yet, but it's okay. You just have to have a positive mind and your problems will resolve themselves, right? Don't you realize you're not getting anything back? What do you mean? Look, Andre, honestly, I don't understand why you're talking to me like this. I'm, I'm trying to fix our relationship. I'm planning a vacation. I don't, I just don't understand why you keep talking to me like that. Sveta, do you really think you can just ignore everything you've done and move on like nothing happened? The way you behaved? I see. It's all about Nastya, right? Isn't it, Andre? She brainwashed you, right? She's a saint. Well, damn her. She doesn't have a halo around her head. You know, I'll tell you honestly, I hate her. I just hate her. Don't you dare talk that way about Nastya. Oh, all right. Well, you know what? Maybe you're better off calling her then. She'll be here right away like a dog. Don't you understand that she's ready to sacrifice herself for any cripple? It's not just about you. Don't you get that? I'll call her whenever I want to and you get the hell out of my house. What did you just say? I said get the hell out of my house, Fita. Wee. Okay. 
I'm gonna get you out of here real soon. The documents are almost ready. Who are we going to live with? It'll be you, me, my mom, and we can get a dog or a cat if you want. <laughs> <laughs> yes, let's find a white fluffy cat. Or an orange one. I agree. And we'll have a big, beautiful family. Me, you, my mom, and a cat. But I thought you were getting married. I thought so too. But it didn't... didn't end up working out. But we're happy anyway, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and when are we going to find a cat? Soon. <laughs> Andre? Did you want something? I'm in a hurry. Hello, Nasya. Please, can you hear me out? I was never gonna go back with Sveta. You got it all wrong. Her coming back didn't mean anything to me at all. I want to be with you. I only need you, Nasya. Andre, I've been waiting for you all this time. But now it's impossible. But why? I have a child. I'm adopting a little girl. She is six years old. She's an orphan. Her name is Sonia, and she used to come to my gym. But wait, we can have our own children if we want to, Nastya. You know, I remember your words very well. That you'll never love someone else's baby. So we're not destined to be together. Nastya. I'm sorry. Nastya, wait! I'm begging you! Wait, Nastya! <sighs> so... You say that your apartment is 300 square feet? Yes, yes, but it's nice. The house is in good condition. The inspectors were there? Mm. Here is a reference letter from the Department of Health. Everything's fine here. Also, the reviews from her place of work. Mm. Here you go. Well, of course, the fact that you're not married complicates things a bit. Do you understand that a child needs a complete family? Yes, of course. But taking into account your profession and the reviews we received from your job, I think that the court will satisfy your request for adopting the child. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mrs. Mihalovna, how are you? Hello. I'm here to pick up Sonia. She's nowhere to be found. Uh, a relative came for her. Don't worry so much. They just went for a walk on the playground right there. What relative? She has no relatives. Wait, Miss Anastasia! Nastya. Miss Anastasia! 